I am bruised. I hunt more, hunt to feed my people. You are not a friend to us. You need to run faster than boar. They fall from trees, try to swarm over you like fleas. Their chieftain, stand back when he beats his chest. Bark is worse than bite. Exile. I have seen many an exile come and go, into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. Different good, different bad, it's hard to tell at this stage. The name is Eramir, and for now you have the benefit of my doubt. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath, and with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. I would never venture to say that life in Rayclast is easy, but with those three gone, well, Living here might just become possible. The Asmiri. The culture that descended from the Asmirian mountains and founded the Eternal Empire so long ago. Not that these people have any understanding of their lineage. Their history, identity, all but destroyed in the Cataclysm. These Asmiri took in a disowned son of Oriath. Fed me, healed me. To repay my debt, I've taken in the orphans of a dead empire. Grust is the strong right arm of this tribe. No man hunts better, 
and no man could do more to protect the ones he loves. I've read about Chevron of Umbra and what she did to the Warden at Axiom. You did well to end Brutus's sorry existence. But Chevron's barricade, that's sad news indeed. There is little enough freedom in Rayclast as it is, but to be stranded on that dismal coast? I pity the exiles to come. Would I know how to lower the barricade? Afraid not. I was a bit distracted the last time I took the pass. Hungry goatmen to avoid on that side, Alira's thralls on this side. I embraced the patronage that High Templar Dominus offered my struggling museum. I took his favor and conducted his research into the thaumaturgical arts practiced within the Eternal Empire. I wish I'd known then what I know now that I was pandering to the warped dreams of a madman. Fare you well. I am Yina, Keeper of the Spirit. Are you a kind exile like Eremir? He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? A beast hunts us in her dreams. A great white beast, tortured and maddened by bad men. A long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush, and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. Iremir was a wise man in Oria. He is our wise man now. Hear him. You will learn much. If you do not hear, you will likely die. Grust does what he thinks is right, and in Grust's dream, he is never wrong. The forest children are ill. Once they drank from fruit, ate nuts and berries. Now they drink blood, eat brain and heart. This land is in a nightmare from which it cannot wake. You and me, we are the same. We dream big, we find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learn the words, the ways of Oriath. You listen to me, and not pigheads like Grust. Then you will live to find more new places. The road? It runs east and west of here. To the west it passes the bandit woman's camp, then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked? I have seen strange thing in the rock by the South Pass, like one of Krust's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be opened again. Many exiles come this way. Iremir is not like them, not like you. He is an old man with many stories. He teaches us words that you can understand. He teaches we as Miri to be strong, not in our arms and legs like Gru's, strong in our heads. I like Yina. She thinks bigger than this place. She knows there is more to life than hunting and growing Morica. There is spirit. Grust is the big man in the tribe. All do what Grust says, but his spear goes limp when faced with the eight legs. Her fur, her skin, reminds me of biting winter. I call her Snow Fiend. I saw her one night, followed her to a cave in the old fields to the east. Listen to her howl at the stars. A sad, sad sound. The beast is hurt inside. I slay the great eight legs. Why should I fear a bandit? And so your path leads you here, exile. Be careful where you step. For as one foot leads the other, so too does each foot leave its mark. A trace of what was. A guide to what will be.
fate will find. We are Asmeri. You are not. Eremir is not. Life was good when it was just Asmeri. Yina thinks she knows the spirit that it talks to her. <laughs> she talks to herself. Silk is no hunter. Silk scares children with stories at fire time. That eight leg he wears, he did not kill it. Found it in the forest dead of age. I would like to see Silk face live eight leg one day. See him wrapped up for lunch. This is our home. We hunt, we grow, we build. Your kind in the forest kill, steal, and burn. Soon they will take it all, leave us no food. Then we must move, leave our home. Exiles. A large heart, yet so little sense to go with it. Yina dabbles in things she should not. The spirit she obsesses over. If she is not careful, she will find herself joining it. Tales and songs are Silk's meat and drink. Would have made a fine bard in the old empire. Were a fraction of what he says true, we'd have nothing to fear from bandit nor beast with Silk among us. Fare you well. You help us. Silk knows more than others think. He watches. He learns. Look between the words, and you'll see the truth in Silk's stories. Dream big. That would just make life complicated.